Okay, so boom, China is not trying to hear anything America has to say at this point. So first of all, they got us on call block. Then they are committed to giving a little tight, tight anxiety by having them waiting in their room to figure out when they're going to get their whooping. On top of that, they didn't send Don't Listen Nancy a bill, her and her family, a bill for emotional distress. So China whole thing is like, check this out, America. We told you to stay out of family business, but you don't listen. How would you feel if maybe Hawaii and Puerto Rico decided they didn't like your rules no more and we just went behind your back and helped them out? Exactly, you'd be upset. So now, since you put us in this position, we got to show our kids not to play with us like that. And we got to teach y'all how to stay out of grown folks' business. But see, America, they whole thing is like China, you're tripping, okay? Nancy Tripp wasn't even like that. She was just trying to check on her people, make sure everything was straight, make sure our relationship was still cool or whatever. She wasn't trying to start no stuff. And you're being mad delusional about this whole one China situation because Tai Tai been doing their own thing for years. Like, go ahead and let them be grown. Why you keep doing them like that? But at the same time, don't listen, Nancy. She pulling up like, please stop putting words in my mouth, okay? Y'all know exactly why I went over there. First of all, bump China, okay? They can't tell us what to do. And if they want some smoke, tell them to oh, blow. We here for it. But I guess China don't really like being gaslit like that. So they like, okay, cool. We're going to force some boundaries. First of all, they didn't cut off little tight tight allowance. So now their money is looking funny, which might be a problem later if they need us to buy some stuff. We're going to deal with that later. Anyways, on top of that, China is like, since you want to play these games with these outsiders, that's cool. But we hope they come through for you like you think they are. And that might be a reasonable thought, considering how quick we ran up out of Afghanistan. And we see how that's working out. Yeah. Then we over here still paying child support and sending Yuki toys and stuff. But they can't even have to use them because we sent the instructions in English and in Spanish. Yuki don't even speak that. We don't even know about our kids, okay? So at this point, I just hope we get this all figured out soon.